Um, and then on top of that, you had my dad. Now my dad was a lovely fella, but uh, he he was very very self conscious. Ever since he was in his late teens, he, he lost his hair, and you know today it's not not such a big deal to be bald. But in the mid seventies, being a skinhead, it was I suppose associated with the. British right wing nationalist groups like the National Front and for a Catholic growing up in rural Northern Ireland it's bad enough if you were thought of as a Brit, never mind a racist one. So. And it meant every balding man in Ireland only had two choices because you, you couldn't do the Wayne Rooney thing of plucking hairs from your hole and sticking them to your head. You had two options, it was uh, the comb over which in the Irish weather wasn't the best idea. Uh, you either walked around like that or you had to plan your journey very carefully. You know. So, um, so, sort of left my dad with one option, the, the old toupee, and um, he was always nervous, always worried about people finding out about it, uh, or it blowing off, I suppose, as well. But uh, it was actually one of my earliest memories as a kid, was him sitting me and my sister down, you know, and telling us very strictly the rules about the toupee. So the first one was, you don't talk about the toupee. The second rule was, you do not talk about the toupee. And the third rule was you don't play fetch with the dog in the toupee. <laughs> <laughs>